I hate England for a lot of reasons, but for the one that concerns us today is because they invented the English language. And I believe that England made a cardinal sin when creating this god awful language. They created this verb and only this verb. Like, what the fuck, England? You're a fucking rainy island and you're telling me that to you it either rains or not rains? It is often said that the Eskimos have a lot of ways of saying snow because they live in a place where there is a lot of snow, a linguistic phenomenon that appears in cultures around the world. However, as demonstrated by the language that I'm speaking right now, this isn't true. They have four ways of saying snow, which still is more ways to say that it is raining in English, and a lot of suffixes to describe how the snow is. So they just combined them. The anthropology studying them mixed all the variations for words. So it turns out that Englishmen aren't idiots. Well, they are, but at least not for this. However, I'm still infuriated by the lack of ways of saying that I'm getting wet in English. Why? Because in my native language, we have over a hundred. Well, I may be exaggerating a bit, but still, we have a lot of ways. Here, let me show you. Before I start explaining to you, let me clear something. In the Galician language, words usually have gender and I know, I know, they gender the words, blah, blah, blah. But this actually does carry some information. If a word exists as a noun ending both in O, masculine, and in A, feminine, that usually means that the feminine one is bigger and or more intense. This is a rio and this is a ria, a bigger version. In that line, this is a cesto, a little basket to carry small things around, and this is a cesta, used when you have to carry more or more heavy things. So carry that on the back of your brain whenever you hear two words that are absolutely the same except for the last letter. So, to start, chuvia and choiva, both the equivalent of rain, the former being used mostly on the most oriental part of Galicia, while the latter is used mostly near the occidental coast. In Galicia, the most normal type of rain that you will encounter is a small, thin, but constant rain that we call orvallo. Being this the most common type of rain, it isn't surprising that there are 32 different ways of saying it. Those are orvalleira, orvallada, chubisco, chubisca, remember what I said about O and A, chubiscada, chubiña, which literally means little rain, babusha, babushada, barrucheira, barrushada, barruceira, barbaña, barbuza, barrayo, barrufa, barruñeiro, barruzo, borralla, breca, poalla, poalleira, poallada, froallo, la piñeira, marmaña, parrullada, patiñeira, patumeira, poallo, and Zarzalo. If the orvallo is especially wet, but not quite annoying, we call it babuña, and if the orvallo only lasts for a little, then it is a chubiñada. However, we also have our ways of saying that rain is very strong. If the rain is very strong, but only lasts for a few minutes, then it can be any of these. Bayon, bayoada, basto, batega, bategada, chaparrada, chubascada, chubasco, chubieira, treixada. If this rain comes with strong winds, then it turns into zebrina or zebra, which is a word I adore because zebra also means zebra, like literally. If this wind is especially cold, then it becomes known as a cifra, ciobra, or shistra. This can also refer to snow accompanied by strong wind. And if the rain is normal, and what strong is the wind, then that wind is called zarracina. Both arroyada and dioibo can refer to strong rain or to little or sometimes not so little river that forms from the rain. If the intense rain appears out of nowhere and or comes with thunder, then we say it is a treboada, torboada, torbon, trebon, trombo or tromba. Notice the O and A again. And when the rain is intense and constant, then it is a borrascada. When things get really cold and it starts snowing, we also have a good pile of words. Nevada, nevarada and nevareira is what you Anglo-Saxons will typically call snow. A blizzard is called a nevario, and when the snow comes with strong winds, it is a zebrisca. Don't think that we are done with the rain, though, as sometimes it rains and snows at the same time. When that happens, we call the rain torba or auganebe, which is a word that I love. It literally means water, snow, fucking adore it. And we call the snow nevisca or nevarisca. And when what's falling from the sky is ice, and not in the nice way, we say that it is sarabia, sarabiada, salabreada, or pedrazo, which if I tell you that it literally means to get hit with a rock, you can rightfully guess that describes a big piece of hail. When a storm is coming, we say that it is a tormenta, or tempestad, and if it especially happens near the coast, then it is a temporal. I'm also going to tell you about the ways to say fog, not only because it also infuriates me that there is only one word for fog, but because I really like the words for fog in Galician. Also, some of these will get you wet and not precisely in the horny sense. Normal fog can be either cegoña, nevada, borracheira, nebra, or zarracina. If the fog is quite thin, then it is a paruma. If it moves quickly, then it is a pavorela. If the fog is heavy and dense, it can be all of the following. Porracheira, nevoeira, nevoeira, borrayenta, or borrayeira. If the dense fog is created near the sea due to evaporation, 
collision of seawater, then it is called pretema, which may I say is my favorite collision. And then, if the fog is created by a little evaporation of river water due to the cold of the invernal mornings, then we call it fuscayo. And yes, we do have a single word to describe that specific type of fog. You may think that it is a rare one, but it makes more sense when you learn that Galicia is often referred to as the country of the thousand rivers. But it is not a country, so Americans are looking right at you. With what I have just told you, it may seem like Galicia is a depressing, rainy and cold part of Spain, but it isn't. Unlike other depressing, rainy and cold lands of Europe, it is actually pretty nice. And sometimes the sun does shine. Actually, due to climate change, the sun now shines most of the year, which why I hate it. And when the rain stops and the sun starts to shine, you can refer to it as amizar, delampar, escampar, escambrar, estear, estiñar, or esterlampar. However you call it, it's a pretty nice thing. Thank you for watching.